Everyone, this is why I love this game, because this game is basically the game that when you are sitting around at like two o'clock in the morning after drinking for like four or five hours, you're like, let's come up with a game idea. Yeah. <laughs> kind of, yes. And, it's beautiful. <laughs> and it works. It so works. Anyway, sorry. So no, the planet no, comes great. crashing through the atmosphere, yeah, dropping all, all these the shards. crystal shards, which are like, like rain dropping, uh, all these weapons, and it's all these Factions that have hated each other for years and years are all of a sudden getting these magical weapons. Of course. And so this is where the story begins. So this is the, actually the first mission of the story. And uh, in this scene, uh, Robin is desperately seeking someone in a dark forest uh, during a rainstorm. Desperately seeking someone? De desperately seeking someone. <laughs> I'm just... Of course. Sorry, it's like I'm punchy. It's been a few hours. It's been a few hours, and you know I have nothing in the stomach. I, I, so, well, 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 we'll get you some beer. <laughs> <laughs> We've already started that process. It's a good thing. It's a good thing. All right. Uh, so we're so, going to briefly show the intro just to get you a sense of the character in the world. Okay. Here we go. All right. So here we are. Um, Dragon Soup is a turn-based RPG. So, but what we've done, our innovation is to make it super fluid. So the game is as quick as you want to play it, or you can slow down and make tactical decisions. Right. So here, you can see that she has two NPC followers, and they're helping her out. Um, here, you can, you're talking to a dead skeleton that's just hanging around. For people who have not played Rogues before, what he means by turn-based is that each of the, you can sort of see the grid pattern underneath the game phrase, the game space right here. Correct. And each step that the character takes executes a turn inside the game world. Correct. So, although it looks like, and this is one of the more fluid ones I've ever seen, although it looks like this is all happening real time, everything is happening step by step by step. Correct, correct. And so you can actually see that there's a turn counter in the top left corner that shows how many turns has passed by in the game. What is there significance for that? I haven't seen that before. Yes, we have day and night cycles. So actually now she's found the person that she's seeking and he one-shotted one of her followers. <laughs> well, why did he do that? Because he's evil. Oh. <laughs> well, <laughs> see, this is why Ash is awesome. Because he's evil. He's the bad guy. So, Duh. And this is a story sequence. Basically, Robin is now seeking him because he murdered her family and burned her home to the, to the ground. So she's out for vengeance. So even though she, this guy is pretty elite, and it might be she's probably not ready to handle it. Yeah, he, she, she's going to try to kill him anyway um, with everything she got. So she has bombs, she has magic, she has a shotgun, she's dual wielding. Um, uh oh, he took out another one of her followers. Yeah, it seems like there's no uh, there's no rigidity of oh we're only going to have swords or we're only going to have magic or we're only going to have you know guns. Right. You know that's part of why we you know Ashra because Ashra is this giant turtle that dragon dog that swims through space and time. Anything can happen. So yeah, uh, you can have <laughs> laser guns. It is it is the way lasers. Lasers. There's lasers. lasers. There's lasers. There's robots. <laughs> Yeah, mm. we have, you know, lasers monsters and lasers. Yeah. Pew, 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 pew. Yeah, we have pew, 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 pew. Like a, it's, it's okay, someone can gift that right there. That's a gift right there. Pew, 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 pew. Yeah. So as you can see, she was defeated, but... Um, well, know, that's the not the end of our story. No, no, this is just the beginning. Um, it's just a dream. And so what's happening is, as I mentioned, Robin's a kind of a alcoholic bounty hunter, and she has these haunting dreams that, by the way, look what's happened to her visage. She's, she's like having a little bit of a morning. No, no, she's hungover. Let's, let's be frank with this. She's hungover. Um, you know, she needs a burrito. We are ES, ESRB rated 16, Peggy 16 plus because of drugs. Um, and yeah, she has these nightmares, and that's part of the reason why she drinks. She has this haunted past mm. that she doesn't remember. She lost her memory. And she, as you play through the game, you slowly unravel it. I think for those of you out there on the Twitch team right now that are watching and thinking like we're cutting up and joking about it, I think one of the things that's amazing is to recognize that you can come up with these crazy game ideas. It's take someone like Ash and, and like a creative force to take it seriously and say, you know what? Screw it. We're actually going to go full force with that whole thing and flesh out all of those pieces. But that's Wilson why Allison. that's why it takes like three years. Is that is that once you start building all of these layers of, oh, it's on a giant turtle's back, and there is a whole set of kingdoms, and there was a kingdom that rose up and everything was at peace, but then the peace fell apart, but then a giant meteorite came through the middle of it, and they dropped all these shards. Like, thinking about all the ramifications of all those pieces means that you've got, like, Star Wars-level canon. 
Yeah, we had to really think it through. You know, I want to give a shout out to Randis, my partner. He's uh, the development lead. He took point on the design and uh, all the art, everything in the game that you see, all the animations, everything, every piece of art, one person. He did it all. No, really? Yeah. Yeah. Wow. He's he's a machine. And, you know, he also, you know, wrote up the core design. I helped, you know, coach, edit, audit, push so the you design this way that. He did a lot of the heavy lifting, <laughs> for sure. Ash, Ash just hangs out and like makes it sound cool. Scott's moved us forward. Tell us about where we are now. So we are at Wilson and Allison. This is a uh, spot that you opens up in the map later on that you have quests. And so this is actually one of the crafting quests that you just talked about. Okay. And here, uh, this guy is giving you a quest to craft a recipe. Now, crafting is a skill, and if you do it successfully, you gain experience points and you can level up with it. We mm -hmm. have over 500 items that can be crafting oh, games. You can craft, you know, <laughs> yeah. You can craft armor, weapons, gunpowder, uh, food, you name it, you can craft it. And, uh, you know, one of the things is you can craft items, but you have to be the right level to equip them. Okay. So, so it's, it's a two-way uh, benefit. And so here he's uh, crafting the items that this guy requested on the on the quest. So when you guys when and you guys looked at like playability on this, how much did you want to, you know, enforce the player getting into the crafting system versus just leaving it as a? I mean, it's a big system. I mean, this right. is like one of those arguments that you always have when you're talking about development. It's like, hey, we're going to put a lot of development resources behind this system, yet at the same time, do we want to push players to use it, or do we want to let them not? feel like they have to. We want to expose them to it, so there's a couple quests just like that that introduce you to the fishing mechanics, to the crafting mechanics, mm. but by no means are you held to it. Okay. So it is as much op optional as you want it to be. So you can go through with your own play style. This is the very interesting thing that we had to balance with Dragon Bin Soup is that the game has to be flexible enough uh, to accommodate multiple play styles, but be challenging enough that you really have to figure it out. You have to think tactically. If you try to run and gun, you're going to fail. In fact, the next uh, segment is going to show that. <laughs> um, so the next segment is part of a mission, and you're sent to a cemetery. So that always works that. out. That always works it's out always really great. Well. You should always what, hang you out know, at like, cemeteries. What? <laughs> <laughs> You know, I kind of want. I would kind of like to sit and play. Uh, what's the new PS4 game? So if like I can until dawn, after dawn, you know the one where it's like you're it's until yeah, dawn. Until dawn. I would kind of like to see how you would play until dawn. But go ahead. Yes. <laughs> so just to share. So so this is a mission where you're sent to go into a, an ancient tomb in a cemetery. Now, the AI here are ghosts, and the, a, the ghosts not only put you to sleep, but they can go invisible, sneak mm. up behind you, and attack you for double damage. Okay, right? so you have so to really very watch. tricky. You cannot get surrounded. So right now, uh, the, uh, Scott is going through the game, uh, charging right in, you know, trying to basically just plow his way through. This level go. 34. Oh. Oh. And he, <laughs> oh. oops. Yeah. So so here here oh, you, you know trying to power through is just not the right tactic. It's not the right strategy. So he's going to try again. Uh, this time he's going to uh, do something a little different. He's going to deploy uh, pets. You can have up to two pets at the same mm, time. Okay. You can collect pets. So there's he has uh, the wolf and he has a spider pet. But also, um, he's going to, instead of go around, he's going to use more magic, slow down, use more potions, and kind of try to uh, avoid the enemy. He's going to try sucking less. <laughs> A little bit. But, but the pets, what they do is they, they take <laughs> so <laughs> 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 I wish you guys on the team could see that. He was like, hey, right? <laughs> so they can uh, tank them for you, and then you can come in to attack them from the flanks or from behind. And so here, instead of going through, he's ta taking his time to really kind of think his way through, cutting down some trees, and really seeing if he can go and explore the circumference of the map. Also, as you can see now, his back is to the wall. Yeah. So he's no longer uh, a threat himself. to getting yeah. backstabbed. So here, he can actually fortify stronger defense. There, he just kicked a bomb and shot it. And, and then did some damage to that ghost. So here he's, he's being more, much more tactical than he was in the last playthrough. So pet play kind of brings in the augmentation to your main skill. You oh, absolutely. Like different pets have different abilities, plus you can also hire NPCs. Hmm. So you can have at least, I think, up to three to four uh, people in your party, all with their own AI, uh, attacking or playing the way that they were they, they, that they were meant to be. And each of them responds in the same step turn system that you're responding. Correct, right? so you correct. When you move, the yeah. enemies move and the world moves forward. And so you can really take your time if you're stuck or you're in a, your low health and you can you know, evaluate the situation, look where you're at and uh, move forward. And so this time he was able to get move forward and, and get to the ancient tomb. He, he beat Jacob Floyd. 
<laughs> I take it since Jacob Floyd was named that that was an important. We version. actually have all. We were a Kickstarter game, and we have uh, all of our backers um, at a certain tier in the world. Oh, that's cool. As as the undead, so you're going to see some uh, unique undead in here. Um, yeah. Okay, and let's go ahead and show them the last part. All right, we got we one more. Two more. So what's actually two more? We yeah. have two more sections. We're wow. doing some two more about? sections. Well, well, yes, we do. Um, so one of them about? was uh, showing off uh, the Snow White bar. Yeah. Um, so Snow White, uh, you know, because Robin's a, a raging alcoholic, there's a, a certain dive bar in Ashera, and by dive I mean really dive. It's seedy. Uh, yeah, it's yeah, seedy. you can call it that. It's a place yeah. I would go to. Yeah, yeah, with murderers and yeah, and, hang and all sorts bar. of bad people. I got a whiskey. Yeah, it's yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, no, it's good. Yeah, no, it's still going. Oh, there goes. Yeah, it's going. Cool. Oh, it is a phrase. Uh, we do plan to uh, support our game, uh, you know, once it comes out. So we do know. plan to support our game. That's a good idea. <laughs> that's, that's usually a good thing. That's usually a good thing. Yeah. No, so, you know, any, any, um, any bugs or, or things like that, we'll, we'll definitely look to address. Uh, hmm. This is our baby. Uh, we, we love this game. We poured all our hearts into it, and we just want to share it with everyone. So. You guys are super passionate. I really respect yeah. that. Yeah. I, have, yeah. I have mad respect for that. Well, thank you. So this is this is Snow White, and um, here, uh, hopefully Scott will not get pwned by all of his enemies. But he's if he does, we can tell him to try sucking less. I mean, we can all try. A little bit, a little bit. Scott just dropped you. He just he he just dropped you back down. Yeah. <laughs> he did drop you back down to level. Yes, he yes, did he drop did. Back down to level. So. Um, so Snow White, you actually can't get in okay. uh, immediately. You have to actually get a secret pass, uh, purchase it to get in. And so this is Snow White. Oh, can and, you get a uh, fake ID to get in? Yeah, I think, yeah. I think <laughs> what, that's really? Is that it? Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. That's amazing. Mm -hmm. That's amazing. I mean, you and almost so get... you can kind of see from the dialogue here. It, there's a, quite a few uh, sexual innuendos going on no. here. No. <laughs> uh, if you uh, go up a little bit further, we have uh, pole dancers. Uh, so we have, right. we're equal opportunity. <laughs> A game, so there are you have males, undead, yeah. females. That's unnecessary. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I, I don't know. I think it adds a little bit of charm. Yeah. It, that's, a, that's a unique sort of necrophiliac charm. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> dude, however you want to roll, that's your business. I mean, well, you know, I, it's Robin, it's the world. I don't know what's going on. Now, the thing to be careful here is if, you know, she drinks alcohol to heal up, and if she drinks too much, she goes into a rage. Oh, really? Yes. Hmm. So, um,. Here just to kind Cheap of show you what that looks like. Cheap rumbleberry rum. Cheap rumbleberry rum, and you might want to equip some better magic because you're going to get. You know, the rum. problem with rum is it gives you a tremendous hangover. Well, that's <laughs> actually we have quite a bit of variety of alcohol. It's today. the sugar. It, it is. <laughs> it is the sugar. It is. Um, the we problem also with those have tiki drinks. We have well, actually, rum is our favorite drink. Honestly, <laughs> we have Red Star rum in the game, rumbleberry rum. Uh, do we have any other liquor other than rum? I don't think so. Zombie malt. Zombie malt liquor. Yeah. Yes, we do. Zombie malt liquor. <laughs> 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 oh, and we have yellow snow, yellow snow rum. Yellow snow rum. Zombie yeah. malt. That's that's, that's brilliant. The zombie malt liquor bull. <laughs> <laughs> so here she's fighting off a lot of uh, bandits and thieves. Yep. Hopefully she doesn't die. She, as you can see on the right, as she takes more damage, uh, her rage meter is going up. So she's up to level oh, forty-seven. Oh 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 oh, 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 Scott, Scott. Scott. Oh well, Sorry. too bad. <laughs> I mean, you're who, who to, wants to tell him? You have to play the game to see what happens when she drinks too much alcohol, I guess. That's fair, that's fair. They can come yeah. see it at your booth. That's right. Which is, if you're coming, if you're here in Seattle or you're coming to uh, PAX for uh, whatever, have fun. Yeah, If you're coming to PAX to be, to be a PAX and play Support games, you can come play. What can they play when they come to the booth? Uh, they can play the game on PC, uh, PS4, PS Vita, and PS3. So what are you going to let them, uh, we, what trouble are you going to let we them We actually in? have the game available in its entirety to play. The whole so thing? So if you want to sit around our booth <laughs> for the for 60 hours of PAX and play through <laughs> the entire game. How many stations do you have? You're welcome to. Uh, we have five or six stations. Yeah, six yeah. stations. Yeah. And we're going to have... All right, I have no idea how many people are on the Twitch stream right now, but I'm going to challenge you. I want someone to come down. <laughs> <laughs> And and beat this game. I want you to come down, play the whole thing, beat the game, and Ash will give you a copy. <laughs> yes, yes I will. Right? Yeah. yeah. I just promised that for him. Done. So there you go. So you we're also going to gonna have you? two cosplayers there. Electric Lady and April Gloria are going to be as uh, Red Robin and Morgiana, who is our alternative character, and also an important character in the story. And we got some really cool merch, prints, and posters. 
By the way, you can't it, get anywhere else. And all of it supports us. It all supports indie game dev. It's all going straight into literally paying our bills. <laughs> Much love for that. Coming to uh, all the PlayStation platforms, Vita, amazing. Thank PS3, you. PS4, after that, iOS, Android, hopefully and Amazon. Then, yes, yes. We'd love to see you guys there. Uh, I think we. I think there's a good chance of that. All right. So, uh, are we finishing up here? What do you, you want to show? We are. What do you want to show, um, show at the end? I here? guess. Uh, how many more minutes do we have? Left? How much do you want? So, I mean, uh, I think. Scott. I think there's a boss fight. We want to show, show, show the boss fight. Yes. Yeah, the boss show fight. the boss fight. <laughs> I think you should end on a boss fight. We're going to end on the boss, boss fight. fight. Uh, do you know where your booth is so we can direct people who come? I think so. It's on the sixth floor. Sixty-eight oh nine. No one knows where the numbers are. In the middle of a bunch of indies. Sixty-eight oh nine. Of course. If you go to. Our Facebook, our Twitter, or our website, <laughs> you'll you'll find it. We posted a nice little map of it. Okay. But go to the sixth floor and uh, wander around and look for um, Dragon's Soup, and you'll find it. Facebook is Grim Bros. Uh, the Grim Bros. Uh, Twitter, The Grim Bros. And our website is www.dragonfinsoup.com. Cool. All right, so uh, Scott, are you going to beat the boss, or are we going to leave that as a tease? How do you want to do this? <laughs> I don't know. Do oh, he's beat him? No. <laughs> no. What do you think, Ash? Should he beat him? Can he beat him? I, well, I don't think I he's don't good really enough. No. Oh, I mean, he's he's going into the feeding chamber. <laughs> Anytime you go to the feeding chamber, that sounds dangerous. So this is this place. is about midway through the game, and here you are trying to escape these dungeons, and the only way is blocked by tentacles. The giant <laughs> kraken. And it has lots of tentacles. It, lo it clearly has lots, <laughs> lots of tentacles. Lots of tentacles. Tentacles attacking girls. It's, and it's, young it's, young <laughs> Is classic, I guess. So that's a well people have gone to before. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. And you do, I mean, you, it's dragon fin soup. It starts with a D, so it's sort of like D. Yeah, sort of. Sort of. Except not exactly like D. <laughs> Sorry if you know D. If you don't know D, the another one. You use the internet. Google is your friend. <laughs> so you can see that um, this kraken has a lot of uh, tentacles, and um, to try to get close, you're going to have to defeat a couple of them. And also, it's casting a lot of uh, magic at you. So you have to be pretty seriously geared up for this fight. So if people come to the booth, are you going to allow them to skip forward and see some of this other stuff? If Absolutely. Want, if, they want, if they want to just, if someone comes up to the booth and say, hey, I want to take a shot at the Kraken, all right, let's do that. There you go. There's another challenge for you. You can come to the booth, sixth floor, and take a shot at the Kraken <laughs> and the wiggling tentacles. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so look, Scott, get, get up close enough so we can see the Kraken. Awesome. There you go, that's the Kraken. That is your challenge right there. If you're coming to PAX 6th floor, Dragon Fin Soup, you can take on the Kraken, you can come talk to Ash and Hunter, you can see the cosplayers, they have lots of awesome gear as well to sell. Uh, and that supports them. It's not just because they're selling gear, they're selling gear to like get the game out. Pretty much, we're a five dev man no. team and we'd love for you to come by the booth and, and check out our game. It's going to come out this fall. Uh, we'll probably be announcing dates, specific official dates in September. So and, there you go. Um, so a week or two from now, you'll be able to find out exactly when you'll be able to uh, hook up with Dragonfin Soup. So thanks so much, man. Much hey, appreciate it. Thanks for having me out. Scott, thanks for driving and taking my crap. I appreciate it, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Hunter, thanks for bringing everybody as well. Everybody, thanks as well. Uh, we will be back in just a moment while we change games again. More of the PAX Rising, PAX Day Zero broadcast right here on Twitch. We'll be right back. <laughs>